everyone. I wanted to just take a, a couple minutes to come on and tell you a little bit more about the Smiles for Seniors book drive that I am doing um, to donate magic painting books to a local um, assisted living facility here in my community, my hometown of Murray, Kentucky, um, Brookdale. I've spoken with the activities director there and he's very excited, um, just as excited as I am to be able to um, offer this and to be able to give back to um, the wonderful residents that uh, live there and um, support them and their family members. Um, as you all know, COVID has been difficult on everyone, but um, you know, during the lockdown, it was terrible, I think, for our um, nursing home and um, assisted living residents and especially their loved ones. Um, I experienced a little bit of that as I watched my cousins go through that with their mom and um, it was devastating because they weren't able to go in and um, and see her and she didn't you know fully understand um, as much as she could and it, it was hard and it lasted much longer than anyone ever thought. But we also lost so many of our residents and um, so many of our family members and our friends. And so during that time when our directors were looking for things to occupy our um, seniors, our magic painting books, believe it or not, became incredibly popular. And Osborne sent out thousands of these. Um, so whether it came to be from a consultant who just knew that there was a need or a loved one who wanted to make sure that their senior was uh, taken care of and had something special to do, then that's kind of, I think, how it started. And we have so many different titles that they were able to, you know, get a lot of variety and things that appealed to a lot of different residents. So, um, you know, the things that I'm showing here, uh, this is, you know, snow. So that's why I pulled it out because we're in the middle of winter, but we have different things for different seasons. And then we have um, something called the Unworry series. Um, but this is the magic painting book that goes with that. And then we have Paint Yourself Calm. This is our newest title in the magic painting series. And we have anything under the sun to do with animals, um, just to regular animal books, to sea creatures, to dinosaurs, to bugs and butterflies and woodland animals and um, it, on and on and on, anything you can think of. Um, we have holidays, so Easter's coming up and we're all thinking about spring. And so um, I just wanted you to know that we do have different holiday books that um, can be given. But your donation, that's what I, I wanted to talk to you about because if you didn't know that I was a consultant or you're not familiar with the magic painting books, then um, I wanted you to know what you were what you were donating toward. So that's what I'm doing, Smiles for Seniors. That's kind of how it came about. Um, and these are going to go into the hands of the activity director and then he will use them at his discretion with the residents there. But um, they are just fantastic books. So I'll, I can show you just, they all come with a paintbrush. Um, so, and water. So they're easy to clean up. And they, it makes ours a little bit unique. The, the um, pages are really thick. So they're not kind of like what you would find at one of our uh, retail stores. Um, I'm definitely not trying to do anything fancy here. I just want you to see the vivid colors and that I'm using water. And then the picture just kind of comes to life. At the back of every book is a, um, a really thick page that can go in between the page that you're working on and the one behind in case the paper gets filled on or really, really wet. Um, some of our residents are able to do very intricate painting and some not so much. So I'll be donating a variety um, of books and then letting the director, um, of course, uh, hand those out and do what they do. And so $10 gets one senior sponsored and 
Again, $20 does three. You can use PayPal, Venmo. Uh, you can look at anything that I have posted and you'll find um, an email link. Uh, you can send me a message through Messenger if you need to do a different payment method. Um, if you need to mail something to me or you will need to uh, do a check or something like that, um, then we'll work out those details and just contact me and let me know. Uh, but, you know, February is the book of love. Book of love. <laughs> it's the month of love. And so we um, we should be thinking about love every day. But um, we tend to, I guess, because of corporate America, think about it a little bit more in February. But uh, I definitely wanted to, to do this. And I hope to make this an annual thing. But my success depends upon your generosity. And so if you can find it um, in your heart, um, in your wallet to donate in anything, but at least 10 for one senior um, and 20 again for three or however many, um, no donation is too small or too large. And um, again, it's all going toward magic painting books for the senior residents um, in my hometown, which is Brookdale, uh, Murray and the facility is Brookdale uh, Assisted Living. But if you don't live here, it doesn't mean that you can't donate. I think that's what I wanted to really get across. Um, you may have a loved one in another facility somewhere, and maybe you want to donate in their honor. Um, I hope and pray that you were not someone affected by COVID that lost um, a precious senior during this um, pandemic. But if you were, then that may be a reason that you would like to uh, donate in their memory. And um, I would love that. And I would love for you to let me know that um, maybe in, this, in the subject line or send me a message and let me know um, because that, that's very touching. And one of the things that I love to do is to give. And um, I can't think of anything any more fitting than to give back to our senior residents. Um, they certainly deserve it and they definitely deserve um, a smile. So... If you have any questions, uh, you need further information, then you can use any of those links, um, Facebook, Instagram. Um, if you're local, uh, then you'll, you, you'll know how to find me. Um, and I think that's, that's all I wanted to say. But um, again, thanks for your time. Thanks in advance for your donation. I will keep all of you posted and I'll let you know how it's going, let you know how many books that we are able to uh, donate, how close we are to goal, or if we're going to be able to go over our goal. And then I'll definitely have pictures or some video of me taking uh, these wonderful books to the facility. And I actually get to take them and um, go in and donate them. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so I hope that you partner with me and that you find it in your heart to be able to donate for Smiles for a Senior. Thank you guys and good night.